Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I polish out cellulose paint. It's going to go from this to this. So cellulose differs from more modern paints in that it's a single stage, single pack finish. And it's quite a forgiving paint to use to be honest, but the issue is, is you get this orange peel texture when it dries. Um, I mean, I'm sure uh, painting technique makes a big difference and the paints that you use and the environment you're in makes a big difference, but generally you'll tend to get a panel that looks a bit like this. Slightly glossy, but with a lot of orange peel. That's what we're going to try to get rid of today. First step is to get rid of all that orange peel with some 1500 grit sandpaper. Now you'll notice everything is covered in soapy water. That's to lubricate it. If it's not lubricated, you'll put in some pretty deep scratches and it'll gum up your sandpaper pretty quickly. Now for the 1500 grit step, I like to use a sponge of some kind. Here I've just got a bit of foam. Use it as a sanding block, just so you don't put too much pressure on the panel in any one spot and cut through the paint or put any deep scratches in. So I'm gonna wet that in my bucket and just start sanding. I tend to go in diagonal patterns and then back over a diagonal. Now I've only got one hand so I can't do this very well. So I'm gonna go for it and see what it looks like after the 1500 grit step. So here we are about 20 minutes later. You can see it's starting to look a bit flatter now and you'll be able to feel it's flatter. But there's just quite a lot of spots like this which we've got to take out. There we go. Yep, so what we need to do now is these darker blue spots, this is what we're gonna try and get rid of. And once we've got all that, we can start moving off the grits. Okay, another 20 minutes down the road, and we've got pretty much all of it out. There's still a few little areas, and uh, I've switched to uh, sanding by hand now. I've uh, thrown the block away, and uh, probably take another 20 minutes to get all those out, and then we're ready to go up the grits. 20 minutes later, and the hardest bit's done. We've got rid of all of the orange peel. Now all we've got left is these 1500 grit scratch marks, which we're gonna get rid of by going up the grits. So the next grit is 2500. We're gonna do that in straight lines, so then we can see when we've got rid of all the 1500 grit marks. Okay, about 50 minutes later, we've finished with the 2500. You might start to notice some reflections in it now. Um, if you're good at polishing, you can probably just leave it at that and start using cotton compound but I'm not very good at polishing, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing all the way up till 7,000 grit to make my life a bit easier. All the sanding is now done. This is 7,000 grit. As you can see, it's starting to get quite a lot of reflections on there. Now we're just gonna go in with rotary polisher, microfiber pad. And we're gonna start off with Meguiar's Miraglaze 105 Ultra Cut Compound. This is after the first pass with a cutting compound. You can see I've missed a few bits, so I need to go back over it again. I'm uh, gonna go over a lot of parts by hand as well. Okay, a couple more passes of the compound. And uh, I've done all the edges by hand with a little rag. And uh, from the video, you probably look in thinking, well, that's done, isn't it? But looking closer, it's actually created quite a lot of swirl marks. Now, what we're gonna do then is use this good stuff, 205, finishing and polish. That'll get rid of the swirl marks, make it spot on, and then we're gonna hit it with a coat of wax. Right, polishing step done. And this isn't far off the final finish. I'm just gonna apply some wax to protect it and fill in any swirls that we've missed. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna go on the car. And we're done, finally. Now, depending on how good your painting is, and how good your polishing is, and how good your sanding is, depends on how long this will take you. This took me about four hours all in, I think, to do this. But uh, just a good example to show you, I think, of uh, what you can achieve, even if you're a bit of a noob like me. Oh, by the way, this is the wax I used. Meguiar's Deep Crystal. It's really easy to use stuff. 
just wipes on, wipes off nice and easy. And it smells like bananas. It's always nice. But yeah, you can see uh, lots of good reflections. Nice glossy. Now, uh, there's a couple of little things on this which I need to come back to. You can probably see there. Just a few little areas. Sure, you know that's not one. It's just a bit of dust. But uh, a few little areas. When the camera focuses, doesn't want to focus. There you go. Just where uh, dust has landed on the paint because I painted this outside. And then when I've sanded it, it's then taken the dust off and there's no blue underneath, just the primer. So I need to touch those up. But yeah, thanks for watching.